This building has a large bulkhead. There are three primary means to vent it from toxic smoke, heat, and gases. A doorway, a window near the shaftway, and skylight. The elevator's bulkhead also has a skylight, which offers another avenue of vertical ventilation. This bulkhead is known as a walkthrough bulkhead. It has two exit doors. Firefighters should ensure to search the landing for possible victims. When venting the bulkhead, always communicate. Also, when venting the skylight, break one pane and wait. This warns firefighters operating below. Don't climb on the tile coping to gain access to the bulkhead skylight. A slip and you could plummet down into the shaftway. Use caution if you place a ladder or get boosted up by another firefighter to the bulkhead's roof. The dumbwaiter skylight was removed and could be covered with lightweight material. In this large multiple dwelling, the stairs wrap around the elevator shaft. This makes stretching a hose line up the stairs difficult and more time consuming. It also increases the number of lengths of hose needed which increases the amount of firefighters needed to perform the stretch, as well as increasing their friction loss and pump pressure in the apparatus. Pre-plan your buildings to see how a utility rope stretch can be used at the stairwell windows and shaft to reduce the time it takes and number of lengths. Always remember to bring up enough hose to fire floor to cover the apartments. Remember, when performing a utility rope stretch, use windows that align in the stairwell. Also, size up your shaftways. In this building, an exterior fire tower exists. It may be used for access and egress or stretching another hose line into the fire area. Firefighters must use caution when climbing high gooseneck ladders. Ensure that they are always attached to the structure before climbing, especially when climbing this high one to reach the bulkhead skylight. This building stairwell has a large well hole in it. The well hole allows firefighters the ability to vertically stretch a hose line, reducing the amount of lengths required and friction loss in the hose. The hose could be hand stretched up the well hole or a utility rope stretch could be performed. When firefighters perform a well hole stretch in this stairway, they should climb with the hose on the right side of their body. Hook the lead length with their right arm up to their elbow. Now walk upward with the hose over the banister. Once you reach the desired location, flake out the lead length in the hallway. Always ensure that enough hose is pulled up the well hole before charging the line. Pulling a charged hose line up the well hole could be a very difficult task to perform. 